The last couple of weeks have been a real game changer when it comes to all of this Britney Spears mess. Because I feel like a lot of people, including some big media outlets, were all kind of waiting for her court battle with her father to be over before they weighed in on the situation. And now that the court battle is over, it's not just over. Britney and her lawyer had to settle. Which I don't think people realize how bad that is. Because Britney has been crying and screaming that she wants justice. Britney wanted these people thrown in jail. Britney wanted these people held financially responsible. She wanted money from these people. But not only did they have to settle the case because there was nothing there. Listen, folks, they settled the case because they did not have a case. If they had a case, the case would not have been settled because Britney let everyone know, and she is still letting you know to this day, that she wanted justice. But there were just there was nothing there. There was absolutely nothing there. And even though a lot of her fans may still not realize that, these media outlets, they're smart enough to know what's going on. And I can tell you right now, you're going to start seeing media outlets who have remained silent about Britney's behavior. They're going to start covering it and they're going to start speaking out because Britney has been really protected over the last couple of years. If this was any other celebrity, she would be all over every news outlet. A lot of people try to claim that the media bullies Britney. The media is always trying to make Britney look bad. Well, if you ask me, the media has been completely ignoring the fact that she's been going crazy, spinning in loops for the last couple of years. Now, of course, you have some outlets like TMZ and stuff covering it. But if you ask me, now that the court case has been settled, even places like TMZ, they're going to stop pulling their punches because that's what's been happening. Either people have been ignoring everything that's going on with Britney or when they do acknowledge it, they pull their punches, all because of this big court battle. Who knows what's going to come out of this court battle? Well, the court battle proved that there was absolutely nothing there, that most of the, uh, most of the claims were either over-exaggerated or false. And now you're going to see, you're going to see people just suddenly, out of nowhere, they're going to start coming forward, speaking out about Britney's situation. We're already seeing it over on X or Twitter. People are going viral every day for posting weird videos of Britney spinning in circles and everyone's asking what's wrong with her. It seems like the general public, even regular people who don't pay attention to this nonsense, people who don't watch these videos and stuff like that, they're even starting to catch on. And, you know, that's really bad news for the Yas Queen Britney fans. And I don't know if it's good news or bad news for Britney. Will this cause Britney to spiral out of control even more? Or for once in her life, will she be held accountable for her actions? And maybe she will clean up her act knowing that, you know, the American public is not going to sit here and continue making excuses for you. Yeah, they've made excuses for you over the last couple of years, but how can they continue to do so when you yourself and your lawyer had to settle your court case because you didn't have a case. In fact, you had to pay your father's legal fees. That's how much of a case Britney didn't have. They couldn't just settle and be like, okay, you know what? Never mind. It's over, right? They had to go so far as to, oh, you have to pay your father's legal bills. Not only do you not have a case, not only is there nothing credible here, but hey, it's so much of a nothing burger. This was such a complete waste of time that we need you to pay millions for wasting your father's time. You need to pay your father's lawyer and all of that stuff. That is what literally happened. And I don't know why it's still blowing over people's heads, but eventually enough people are going to start talking about this that it's not going to be able to fly over your head anymore. No, it's going to hit you straight in the face. And with that being said, let's go ahead and roll this news clip because to my surprise, now that the court case has been, you know, now, it, now that it's over, they're literally having discussions about Britney and her mental health 
on live television, on the news, the nightly news. So let's go ahead and check out this clip, and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. It's not just Britney's mental health that has her friends worried, it's her finances as well. Sources say she had $60 million when the conservatorship ended, but that she's burned through most of it. One confident told TMZ that Britney goes to Hawaii or French Polynesia by herself via private jet almost every month and drops close to a million dollars per trip. She's also had to spend millions on the legal battle that she just settled with her dad, Jamie. Britney had accused him of stealing from her when he was in charge of her finances, but he was able to show that all of his expenses were legitimate and court approved. And so not only did she have to pay for her own legal fees, about four million bucks, she had to cover his as well, another two million. I want to bring in someone who knows a lot about Britney's case. Jim Murray is an attorney and chief correspondent for Inside Edition. You and I have had a couple of conversations about Britney uh, through this whole very sad series of episodes in her life, Jim. Start with the buyer's remorse for the free Britney crowd. Clearly, it doesn't look like she is doing well uh, without help. Well, you know, that free Britney crowd is largely responsible for a lot of the public pressure that caused this conservatorship to be focused on and then end. But you have to remember, Ashley, these conservatorships are not entered into lightly. They're generally a point of last resort. A judge has to approve them. And a judge did approve that conservatorship. And it was through Britney's Instagrams that many of the Free Britney movement was formed to say she's unhappy, she's being mistreated. And you're right, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors, and neither do many in the Free Britney movement. Even though their heart may be in the right place, it may not have been the best thing for her, given what we're seeing now. Okay, could she go back into the same kind of conservatorship, or could she maybe even just go into a financial conservatorship, given that she's bleeding out everything she's um, ever earned? It's not illegal to burn through all your money. People do it all the time, especially people in entertainment in Hollywood. If she blows through everything, that's still not reason enough to go into a conservatorship. As I say, a judge has to approve it, and it has to be a last resort. There have to be less onerous methods to help you first. So there's a conservatorship of your finances, your estate, and then there's a conservatorship of the person. She was under both before because she needed medical treatment, mental health treatment. And it's much more likely, given what we're seeing, that she certainly needs something, some attention, whether it's medical, whether it's medication, whether it's counseling, who knows? The question is really, who is her, who's around her now? Because since she got divorced, Sam Asghari was the closest person to her. And there's a question about who is close enough to her now to effectuate any change? Or are, are they all yes people? Or, or helping her to stay on a, a medication regimen because, you know, she clearly needed that very much before. Uh, she deleted her Instagram today. The last time she did that, her fans went bananas, called the police, and there was a welfare check done. Do, do we know if that might be help happening now because she did that again today? We don't know that yet. And, and part of the reason is because partly because of her small circle of friends. You, you mentioned the TMZ report. These people are talking off the record without naming themselves. And it's, it's very difficult to get a clear read on what's going on. But when you hear about somebody burning through a million dollars a trip for vacation and burning through, say, six, seven million dollars in legal fees and hearing that a $60 million estate is on the verge of going broke, that is cause for concern, certainly. And then when you see some of these postings that you showed, they're very disturbing. I remember that knife incident that we, we, we all witnessed yeah. just a few months back. You, you know, I, I, it, it seems like there's a cry for help. And I don't know who's really going to heed that and, and listen and, and really do something. Poor kid. I mean, she's just had the most bizarre life and I think really unfortunate upbringing, um, not just at, at her home, but through this bizarre Hollywood fascination and the pop star um, frenzy around her. I just, I wish the best for her. I really do. I hope you and I uh, talk about this again in, in a better resolution, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not optimistic. Jim, thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Always good to talk to Jim Murray. He's got his finger on the pulse and he's a lawyer, so he knows he does his You research. know, obviously, the Yas Queen Britney Spears fans absolutely hate my guts and they hate my videos. But what they don't understand is that for the last couple of years, I've been trying to prevent this from happening. Sure, 
I've made a couple of jokes. I've done a couple of little Britney Spears dances. But I've tried to prevent, I've done everything in my power to prevent us from getting to where we're at now. To where now, Britney is the butt of all jokes. Now Britney has become nothing more than a meme over on X and Twitter. I try to prevent us from getting to the point where people are just openly discussing Britney's mental health and talking about it on the nightly news. And all of this could have been prevented. All of this could have been nipped in the bud very early on. I think, I, I literally think all it would have taken is for people not to empower and encourage this odd behavior from Britney immediately after she got out of the conservatorship. Immediately. People empowered and encouraged this behavior, and it's been getting worse and worse and worse. Britney Spears is injuring herself left and right. She's getting kicked out and banned from hotels left and right. She has no relationship with her kids anymore. She lost her marriage because she was cheating with the housekeeper. I mean, none of her behavior is anything anyone should be making excuses for. And I feel like Britney was in a very vulnerable position in her life once she got out of the conservatorship. And if people are, people don't need to tell her what to do, but maybe if there was a guiding hand that kind of let her know, hey, we're glad that you're free, but maybe posting your tits and acting insane, maybe that's not the route to go. Maybe you should take this freedom and do something valuable with it instead of flushing your life down the toilet, right? But now it's too late. I want to be clear though, I tried to prevent us from getting to this point, but now it's too late. Because as I was saying earlier, now we know that her court battle and all of the stuff that she so-called had against her dad, all of the evidence she had against her dad and all of these other people, nothing there, nothing there. And the loss in this court battle to her father has been followed up with a string of erratic behavior from kicking out her windshield, getting kicked out of hotels, and you name it. The last couple of weeks have been really interesting. And the response has been really interesting as well because now I feel like the gloves are going to start coming off. Britney is going to spiral even more out of control, but unlike the last couple of years, I don't think people are going to completely ignore it anymore. Because if you look at how the media picks up on things, especially how the media covers celebrities, it, it's really surprising and shocking that the media has left Britney alone for the last couple of years as she has gone straight bonkers, right? We've all been talking about it. We've been covering it, but it's not on the nightly news and stuff like that, even though all of the other celebrity drama is. But now... I think the gloves are coming off, and I don't think Britney realizes that yet. Britney is going to, going to continue acting an ass, thinking that she's protected the way that she's been protected the last couple of years. But not only are people tired of Britney's nonsense, as I said, she lost the court battle, but now the pendulum is swinging in America, and I think people are tired of letting the crazies take over. People are tired of, you know, making excuses for these mentally ill, deranged people who are acting a complete fool in this country. So I think that you're going to start seeing those people start calling out Britney as well. So this is like worst case scenario for the Yas Queens. I would say it's the best case scenario for us because at least now there's more eyes on the situation and people are finally acknowledging what we've been pointing out for years but I don't think the majority of us wanted us wanted things to get to this point. I wanted things to get better for Britney, but they're not going to get better. Any hope for Britney getting better, that's been thrown out the window, especially over the past couple of days. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. How do you feel about the mainstream media, you know, starting to talk about Britney and her problems on the news finally. Let me know how you think about that down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. If you would, if you would like to donate, you can donate via Cash App or Super Thanks. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.